Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into ancient mysteries and artifacts that make you question everything. So buckle up because we're about to explore some of the most baffling discoveries on the planet. All right, let's kick things off in ancient Greece with the Eleusinian mysteries. These were some of the most enigmatic and fascinating rituals of the ancient world. These were hardcore, super secret rituals that went on for over 2000 years drawing people from all walks of life, from peasants to philosophers. Imagine this, you're in ancient Greece and you hear whispers of this cult worshiping Demeter, the goddess of the harvest, promising initiates a life-changing experience that could alter your perception of reality. But here's the catch. You gotta drink this special brew called Kaikion, likely made with ergot, a fungus with psychedelic effects. This brew was believed to open the doors of perception, offering a glimpse into the divine. Plato, the philosopher, was a member and he claimed that the experience was profound. He wasn't alone, many other notable figures of the time also participated. He said it eased the fear of death, which is a pretty big deal. Imagine having your existential dread alleviated by a mystical experience, but the crazy thing is, no one ever broke their silence about the specifics of the rituals. The secrecy was so intense that even today we can only speculate about what really happened during these mysterious ceremonies. Okay, let's get weird, shall we? Buckle up because we're diving into one of the most bizarre and intriguing theories out there. We're talking ancient lizard people. Yes, you heard that right. Reptilian humanoids that some believe walked the earth long before humans. All over the world, from ancient Mesopotamia to South America, you find stories and depictions of reptilian beings as powerful, godlike figures. These aren't just random myths. They appear in various cultures separated by vast distances. One of the oldest examples comes from Tel Al-Ubaid in Iraq, where archaeologists found 7,000-year-old figurines that looked like lizard people. These figurines have baffled researchers for decades. These guys were way ahead of their time in terms of agriculture and architecture. Their advanced techniques still puzzle modern scientists. So, was it just a coincidence that this advanced civilization was obsessed with lizard people? Or is there a deeper connection we haven't yet uncovered? Or could there be something more to it? Could these stories and artifacts be pointing to a hidden truth about our past? Some people think these lizard beings were actually extraterrestrial visitors who shared their advanced knowledge with the Ubaid people. This theory suggests that our ancestors had contact with beings from another world, which could explain their sudden advancements. Now let's talk about giants. In 2022, archaeologists in Serbia unearthed 5,000-year-old skeletons painted bright red. These skeletons were incredibly tall, averaging over six feet. They were buried with care, laid out in specific positions and covered in red ochre pigment. Experts think these red-painted giants might have migrated from modern-day Ukraine or Russia, but here's the weird part. Their graves were totally empty. So who were these enigmatic giants and why were they buried so ceremoniously yet with no possessions? Have you ever seen a rock get cut in half? It's not something you come across every day, right? Not just any rock, but a massive boulder split clean through like it was butter. Imagine the sheer force and precision needed to achieve that. Well, that's what we're dealing with in Japan with the legendary Itoseki boulder. This isn't just any ordinary rock, it's a piece of history. The legend goes that this was the work of Yagyu Munenori a legendary swordsman from the 1600s. His name is synonymous with unparalleled skill and mastery. They say he was so skilled with the blade that he could cut through anything, even solid rock. His katana was an extension of his will, slicing through obstacles with ease. Scientists have looked at the rock and they can't really explain the clean break. The precision of the cut defies natural geological processes. So was Yagyu Munenori really some kind of superhuman swordmaster? Did he possess abilities beyond our understanding? Or is there a more logical explanation for the split Itoseki boulder? Could it be a natural phenomenon that we have yet to fully comprehend? Whatever the case, this rock is a testament to the enduring power of a good mystery. It continues to captivate and intrigue, inviting us to explore the boundaries between legend and reality. 
Deep in the jungles of Central America lie the ruins of the Mayan civilization. In 1950, an explorer named Dana Lam discovered a beautifully carved Mayan lintel dating back to 773 AD. This wasn't just any old carving, this was a masterpiece. Lam took pictures, documented the find, and then it disappeared. It resurfaced briefly in Zurich in 1982, but then it vanished again. Experts believe this lost lintel was the work of a master sculptor named Mayui. But without the actual artifact, it's impossible to know for sure. It's like it was lost to time, a ghost of a treasure just waiting to be rediscovered. Okay, let's talk about Cambodia, specifically the Ta Proem Temple. There's one carving in this temple that has sparked some serious debate, a carving that looks a whole lot like a Stegosaurus. How could the Khmer people who built this temple in the 12th century know what a Stegosaurus looked like? Some people say it's just a coincidence that the carving represents some other mythical creature, but others think it's evidence that the Khmer people had knowledge of dinosaurs, maybe through fossils or some lost ancient wisdom. We're heading back to the United States now, to Ohio. Case in point, the Tremper Mound Owl Pipes. These are intricate 2,000-year-old artifacts carved into the shape of owls, bears, and other animals. The pipes are made from a specific type of flint clay that's only found in northern Illinois, hundreds of miles away from where the pipes were discovered. Some archaeologists think it's evidence of an extensive ancient trade network stretching across hundreds of miles. Whatever the answer, these owl pipes are a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of the people who lived in North America thousands of years ago. Have you ever seen a petroglyph? I'm talking about ancient carvings etched into rock, sometimes thousands of years old. Take the Leo petroglyphs in Ohio. These carvings, etched into sandstone over 1,000 years ago, are some of the strangest petroglyphs in North America. There are over 40 different motifs, including human figures, animals, and horned humanoids. Experts believe the Fort Ancient people who lived in the area around 1,000 years ago created these petroglyphs. But the meaning behind them remains a mystery. Were they depicting their gods, shamans in ceremonial garb, or maybe just maybe they were recording encounters with something truly otherworldly. Okay, let's get really wild for a minute. We're talking Antarctica, the coldest, driest, and most isolated continent on Earth. In recent years, satellite images have revealed something extraordinary, a pyramid-shaped structure buried beneath the ice and snow. The mainstream scientific community dismisses this as a natural formation, a nun attack. But some folks point to the pyramid's precise geometric shape and its alignment with the cardinal directions. Could this be evidence of a lost civilization, a civilization that existed before the ice sheets covered Antarctica? Let's head back to South America, to Peru. Just a few hours away from Machu Picchu, there's another ancient site that's even more mysterious, El Volcán. This pyramid, built over 2,200 years ago, is shaped like a volcano. Archaeologists have discovered a fireplace inside the pyramid, suggesting that it was used for ceremonial purposes. But the exact nature of those ceremonies and the reason behind the volcano design remains a mystery. Why would they build a pyramid that looks like a volcano in a place where volcanoes don't exist? All right, let's journey to Scandinavia, to the land of the Vikings. In 2016, archaeologists in Denmark made an incredible discovery a 1,000-year-old Viking toolbox. The toolbox was found in a Viking fortress, but the exact purpose of the fortress and the toolbox's significance are still being debated. Was it a military outpost, a trading center, or maybe something else entirely? It's like a time capsule, giving us a glimpse into the everyday lives of these legendary people. Our final stop takes us to China, to the Hunan province. In 2021, archaeologists unearthed four perfectly preserved tombs dating back almost 2,000 years. These weren't the tombs of emperors or generals, but of women. The tombs were filled with artifacts, from exquisite bronze vessels to intricate gold jewelry, even remnants of silk fabrics. 
This discovery suggests that these women were involved in the lucrative Silk Road trade, maybe even powerful merchants in their own right. The discovery of these four tombs has shed new light on the role of women in ancient Chinese society. That's it for today, folks. We've traveled the globe all in search of answers to some of history's greatest mysteries. But the best part is the mystery continues. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, and never stop being curious about the world around you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through ancient mysteries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content ahead.